y'all know how we do we ain't wasting no time in this video because when we got to get to it we got to get to it and this one of them ones now make sure y'all hit my like button subscribe to the channel now today we all seen Devin put his hands on Ryan like he did Lomachenko but let's just keep it a buck he did Ryan worse than he did Lomachenko man he slapped Ryan all across the bottom of his jaw and Ryan he got under Devin Haney's skin and he really got under Devin Haney's skin because if y'all heard what Ryan was telling Haney he was telling him where your mama at huh where your mama at where your mama at basically why wasn't your mama around why did Bill have to raise you and you ain't had your mama around now I'm not finna get into all of that because I don't know what was going on with that situation and I really could care less. Bill raised Devin. Salute to Bill raising Devin and doing a great job doing it. But Ryan saying that, you could tell that Devin took that personal. There was something that Devin, you know what I'm saying, it kind of hit Devin. You know what I'm talking about? Look like he hurt Devin's feelings because Devin reacted in a way to where somebody react when you really get under their skin. And you could tell that's exactly what Ryan Garcia was trying to do. He was trying to get under Devin Haney's skin and he did what he set out to do because he was laughing about it afterwards. Like, yep, I got you. I got him. I got him. I'm under his skin now. Now, with all that being said, Devin Haney has been promising that he's going to knock out Ryan. Right now, Devin is really, really promising. He doubling and he tripling down on that promise. He says it ain't no way that Ryan is going to last in that fight. He's talking about he going to stop Ryan in seven rounds or less. Now, in order for Devin Haney to do that, he going to have to throw the boxing out the window and he going to have to go out there and bang. Now, we all know Devin as a pure boxer. Devin, he really don't bang like that. Sometimes he'll step to you. But come on, man. When he in the ring with somebody like a Ryan Garcia, they got the punching power like Ryan does. Is it a smart thing for him to go out there and step to Ryan? Nah, it ain't smart. But he continues to talk about these knockouts and he going to knock out Ryan. And Ryan ain't on his level. Ryan, the C-level fighter and all of that. You going to have to go out there and prove that by getting in the middle of that ring, standing toe to toe and banging it out. Now, am I saying that's the only way and that's all he has to do with Ryan come Saturday night? Nah, but it's going to have to come a point in time to where he going to have to dig his back foot in the ground and let that power go and bang it out. And he playing with fire, messing with somebody like Ryan Garcia fighting that way. This ain't a Regis Pro Gray to where you can still stand on the outside and tag him up all night long. You can't do that with Ryan. You're going to have to get into close range with Ryan to be able to knock him out because y'all the same size and got pretty much the same arm length. I continue to tell people this is a completely different stylistic matchup than him fighting the Regis Pro Gray. So my question is, is Devin Haney backing himself up against the wall? Is he putting way more pressure on himself than needs to be? Because now you didn't promise to knock out and you said that you're not even going to be satisfied with a decision win. So everybody that said, oh man, he can get a decision. It doesn't matter. Now it matters because it matters to Devin. He don't want no decision win. He said it's a knockout or it's a bust, a knockout or a bust. Now I know Devin and Bill, they lie all the time. So a lot of people say, oh, well, he just saying that he don't really mean that. Now I think he really mean that this time, right? I think he really mean every word that he's saying about how he going to go in there and he's going to try to knock Ryan Garcia out. And the reason I think he mean it is because Devin wants to be a superstar. He wants to be the face of boxing. And he believes in order to be that, he got to produce knockouts like Javante Davis, even though he's not that style of fighter. But he believes that he got to produce knockouts. He believes that he got the power to do it. 
Now, it's because everybody around him is hyping him up, but making him believe that. Oh, man, look how hard you hit in the bag. Oh, yeah, you got power. You got and then all his fans running around talking about, oh, it was because he was cutting so much weight at 135. Look what he did to Regis. He got power now. So he believed that he's bought into that. He has power. And if he go out there and try to do what he say he going to do, he might go out there and get knocked the F out himself. I'm telling y'all, this ain't the fighter to be playing around with. Like this ain't the fighter to go out there and test to see if you can stand in the pocket. If you got power, you better go out there and just box and get the victory, man. Real talk. Now, if you do go out there and stay on the outside and play safe and just get the victory, are you going to have fans talking shit, right? Because you didn't live up to what you said you was going to do? Of course. But at the end of the day, people going to talk shit for a while, but then they going to forget it. I'm telling Devin right now, don't go out there and try to do some shit that is not you. You are not a knockout artist. You are a pure boxer. Be that. You know what I'm saying? It's like Devin is having an identity crisis. Be who you are. But hey, if you want to go out there and think you can bang, think you could be a Tank Davis or a Deontay Wilder or something, go ahead and do it then. Go ahead and go out there and do that. Because that's exactly what Ryan Garcia wants. And I'm telling y'all, Ryan has got under Devin's skin. He ain't got under Devin's skin. You better believe it. And I'm also going to tell y'all, if anybody in this fight going to get knocked out, it's going to be Devin. Because one thing Ryan does have is knockout power. Now, Devin is the more skilled fighter for sure. You know what I'm saying? Devin, when it comes to boxing and the skills and athleticism and all that, Devin got that on lock. But Ryan has that power in both hands. And I think Ryan probably got the speed. He probably got the speed over Devin. Now, when it comes to punch accuracy, they both got very, very great punch accuracy. That's one thing about Ryan Garcia. You know, he lands them shits and his punch accuracy be pinpoint. Devin Haney, when he throw his combinations, when he moving in and out, he got very good accuracy too, you know? So man, this is going to be a competitive fight. It's going to be a lot more competitive than people think. And Devin just might get knocked the F out if he go out there and he continues to believe what his camp, what his fans, then hyped him up to believe that he going to go out there and get a knockout. I'm telling y'all, let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Let me know if y'all going to pay for this fight. Because I'm definitely paying for this fight. I'm going to support it, even though the undercard is some trash. But the main event, yeah, you know, I think it's worth paying for. And, uh, man, yeah, just drop a comment in my comment section. Make sure you hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, and y'all already know how I do. Tego talking that boxing again, and I'm gone.